Guys, are Kate Middleton's parents broke? Because they owe a lot of money to people and they don't seem to be capable of paying it off, which is rather weird because I thought that the narrative this entire time had always been that she came from a posh, rich family, but let the record state that that doesn't seem to be the case now that the family uh, lost their party, but that doesn't seem to be the case ever since the family lost out on their party supply business. The business collapsed last year as it was revealed that Carol and Michael Middleton couldn't pay back the $3 million in debt that they had from that company and that they're also seemingly too broke to pay Interpath, the insolvency firm, which was supposed to restructure the company and sell it off. The company was sold off for only 180,000 pounds and the insolvency firm is owed $260,000 for managing the restructuration and the sale of the company and everything like that. But Kate Middleton's parents still have not paid that fee. And that is really, really weird for, again, a seemingly rich family. And it's not just Kate Middleton's parents who are supposed to be rich. It's supposed to be herself and her sister. So her sister married into a rather wealthy family. I think a lot of people were claiming that her husband was a billionaire, though he is a hedge fund manager for billionaires. He himself is not a billionaire, but he does have a lot of money. So it does seem strange that he and Pippa are not willing to step up to help pay at least some of this 260,000 pounds or that Prince William and Kate Middleton are not offering to help pay off another half or the whole thing as well. Because, you know, the royals, when it comes to William, Harry, Charles, even Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip at the time while they were alive, these people are so rich and a lot of their money is hidden. So we don't know exactly how much money they have, but we do know that they have an awful lot of money. So I think that there's something to the fact that William um, is not willing to help cover this and that Pippa's husband is not willing to help cover this as well. I don't know what the hell it is that Pippa does for work. She might just be a stay-at-home wife, so that's why I'm not implicating her in this. But alas, it is rather strange because this is not good PR, right? At the end of the day, this story has been floating around since last year when the company went bankrupt and the family couldn't afford the $3 million or 2.6 million pounds that they owed to creditors. And now finding out that that company only sold for a, a measly 180,000 pounds and they owe what is supposed to be a measly 260,000 pounds to supposedly rich upper crust people. Um, it just looks weird. It really does. And now instead of properly investigating why it is that Kate's parents seem to be broke and unable to afford to pay their bills, the press is circling this story around Kate Middleton. It's very strange. They're saying, oh, Kate Middleton's family they're saying Kate Middleton's parents seem to be unable to afford to pay off their debts, but um, let's talk about how they're trying to support Kate during this time, blah, blah. Mm, it feels like a distraction, okay, you guys? I wanna know what happened to the Middleton family money and why it's no longer there. Was it ever actually there? There have been a lot of debates about whether her family was actually rich or if they were just upper middle class and, um, posing with the rich or social climbing with the rich or something like that. Based off of what is going on here, I am more inclined to believe the latter more so than the former, but um, I don't think we can really rely on the British press to get to the bottom of this story because all they're going to do is pad it as much as possible. It seems like they are more interested in brown nosing for this couple rather than asking the hard questions. So as for why it is that her parents are not getting any money from um, either their children or their children's husbands, they're claiming that it's because they want to focus on Kate's recovery and they don't want to stress her. Uh, here's a quote. It's a very worrying time for the family, but they are not looking for any assistance from their children and don't want them to worry. Catherine and her parents are very close and they always check in with each other, but talk about the business is off limits as she needs to focus on her health. Well, what about Pippa? Pippa was frolicking on the beach in perfect health. So why don't y'all ask her for a little bit of money? I don't know. The whole thing is rather strange. I'm starting to wonder what is smoke and mirrors with these people? I got to do a little bit more digging into Pippa Middleton's husband and everything like that to see if he's got the money that people seem to assume that he has. His name is James Matthews and he is a former race car driver 
who became a billionaire hedge fund manager. His family actually owns a resort in the Caribbean island of St. Bart's, which is not cheap at all. So you would think that they're rich, but at the same time, listen, a lot of times people are rich on paper or asset rich, but cash poor. So that could be the case here with Pippa Middleton's husband, James Matthews. It could be the situation with the Royals. It could be the situation with Kate's parents themselves. I don't know, but at the end of the day, what is rather clear to me right now is that Kate's parents don't really have a lot of money. You know, I don't know what happened to it. Again, um, they got into debt, 3 million in debt or 2.6 million pounds in debt. And that is rather difficult to climb out of. In fact, it's making me wonder what they're going to do for their retirement. They already are, you know, well into retirement age. So how are they planning to retire with all of this debt at the end of the day? Rather strange. Are they going to go ahead and declare bankruptcy? Because I think if insolvency is the step just before bankruptcy. So don't be surprised if you hear an announcement that Kate's parents have gone bankrupt in the future. But again, I feel like that would be rather strange for the future king of England to allow for his in-laws to go bankrupt. I feel like it's rather odd for Pippa Middleton's in-laws or herself um, to be claiming to be this rich billionaire family or whatever billionaire adjacent family. Meanwhile, her parents are bankrupt and without retirement. Very, very strange. Let's keep an eye on this story, you guys, as it continues to develop. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on a single update. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.